Hi, uh, you've been watching the turkey trot out there from last year. A nice little video on that to kind of remind you that you can get out there and get a little exercise. But there's no one that gets more exercise, I think, in this room than Angelo Santa Barbara. <laughs> if you're on Facebook, you see a selfie, and he is everywhere. I'm sure. Are you sure you're not cloned? Uh, I'm pretty sure. You're sure? Because I can't believe you can be in all those places. My goodness. Uh, but anyway, he's here to, t uh, he's with the 111th uh, District Assemblyman, and uh, he's here to kind of do a big rah-rah for small business, right? Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's, uh, Thanksgiving's almost here, right around the corner. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, Black Friday will be here too, but uh, this is about small business. Uh, uh, small businesses use the, the Saturday after Black Friday to kick off a lot of their sales. So what we, it's been nicknamed Small Business Saturday. And what we do in the district is uh, we do a tour of the small businesses. We help promote them. And we encourage people to shop local. You know how important that well, is. Well, you know, yeah. you won't, every time they, I talk about it, I'm saying keeps money in, the, in our yep. local economy. And it's recycled and recycled and recycled. That money yep. keeps going over and over and over. It doesn't go to Bentonville, Arkansas. No, it's, it's a win-win <laughs> for everybody because you, you get personalized service. Uh, you know, Schenectady is all about small business. We have yep. uh, uh, businesses that go back generations here, and you, they're unique products that you can't find anywhere else. So we're exactly. going to talk about some of those products in a little while. Yeah, uh, not everybody could be here today because they're all yeah. working and busy. So, But we do have a couple of representatives. And if you look at that table over there, I don't know if they can catch that photo there. But my goodness, we have a table of food there. Uh, and it smells. I mean, that bread is just amazing. Is it lunchtime yet? Is it lunchtime? I don't. I think it is now. It's lunchtime for me anyway. But with me, we have uh, Warren uh, Zeiser. Is that right. pronounced? And he is the owner, uh, the CEO, CEO of, right. of um, Mastery Annie Brothers Bakery. And uh, you've taken it over, and you're going. Um, hog wild. Hog wild. <laughs> hog wild. I, I ran into him at the 50 plus expo up in Saratoga and he was handing out bread and sauce and Garofalo's who could not be here today. Garofalo sausage which is amazing as well. We have Casa Visco, we have Adine uh, uh, Viscuzzi here and I just want to mention that uh, I gotta just do this. I'm oh, sorry. Yes. I Very love important. that yes. photo. Look at that photo. She was in her magazine and uh, a beautiful photo. I, I need to find that photographer. Yeah, she's very Thinking good. make me look that good? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, yeah, and uh, so you you produce, not you personally probably, although you probably you know, do, do stir the sauce. Kitchen frequently. Yeah, you know, the wooden spoon. Mm -hmm. I, I know. <laughs> and you have some sauces here to talk about your representation. We're, we've got some breads here to talk about breads. Awesome. And it's, it's really important uh, because these local businesses really are, are, are the lifeblood of our communities. And as you said, yeah, it's a win-win because they also employ local people. That's right. So, you know, when we say win-win, there's actually three parts win, to win, that. Win-win-win. Yeah, you <laughs> talked about the tax base. Uh, we also talked about supporting the local economy. But, but, you know, small businesses make up more than half of the state's workforce. Uh, and these are businesses just like this. And, uh, you know, we talk about the unique products. Here they are right here. And re the regional partnerships are what we're trying to encourage, uh, what, I, what I started working on uh, when I got into the assembly. And this, this coalition now, uh, called it's, it's, it's the flavor of Schenectady, is just that. It's the flavor of Schenectady. And it is. We've got, you know, and we do have, I mean, we have a strong Italian heritage, I think, in our community. We do. And the Italians really are pretty good on food. Uh, 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 according, uh, uh, according to my mother, they're the best. <laughs> so, so. I'm not saying that, but you know. <laughs> but we, we do have, uh, is, there's a lot of heritage, there's a lot of history in this area, in Schenectady, in the Electric City. Uh, the history is here. Uh, and Would you the, like that song? I, I love the song. I, I meant to sort of sing it when I got on here, but I, you don't want to hear me sing. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> but, but it's really about the businesses. And I know uh, Aideen is also, you're celebrating a special anniversary yes. as yeah, well. Let's start out with Aideen. And you don't mind, Warren. I'll come back Not to you here. Right, You're kind of like in the middle there. You, we can't avoid you. So. <laughs> okay, good. Aideen, uh, you've got an anniversary coming up. And um, just this, uh, we're celebrating our 70th year in business. The company was started in 1945 by my grandparents. So uh, in honor of that, we threw a big pasta dinner for the community oh, nice. uh, at Glen Sanders Mansion on June 30th. And we introduced three new sauces uh, specifically to celebrate that event. So we've been around a while. So do you, uh, when you, you mentioned three new sauces because we're going to talk about food. Hey, let's just do it. Uh, 
tell me, uh, how do you develop these sauces? Do you have a research kitchen or what? Or do you just taste it and say Actually, that's Angela's it? been to my research kitchen. <laughs> yes, I like the awesome sauce is my favorite. <laughs> and uh, we, we have it in, uh, in the kitchen and uh, yeah. Because it starts at home. I yeah. mean, that's, and that's where, you know, a lot of our recipes translate from our kitchens at home, whether it's my dad's or myself, you know, we're Italians. We want to bring people around the table and enjoy good food. And these particular sauces came out of the fact that um, we recognize that there's a drought going on in California. Some oh really my gosh, yeah. epic conditions out there. So we wanted to support local as best we could and really make as, as much effort as we could to buy at least some of the tomatoes from locally grown, grown uh, farms and their family owned farms. So the uh, garden vegetable, for example, has 13 fresh vegetables in it. Um, these three sauces all use locally grown uh, tomatoes. We're, we're never gonna get away from you know, a California product because we use so many, um, but we wanted to support local farms, local businesses. You know, another interesting tidbit I just read about supporting local, Local businesses uh, tend to spend four times as much money on other local businesses. So that's right. they they hire electricians, and yep. cleaners, and I mean it's and, amazing. Yeah, and accountants. As a, and, yeah, you know. as a local business owner, we support as best we can um, every other local company, as opposed to a, a big box or oh, a chain course, store. Yeah. Right. So it's huge. Yeah, and and the money, of course, is recycled. We've talked about again recycling. and again. I, yeah. And how many people do you employ, roughly? I mean, if you can say so. Yeah. No, we have fourteen people. Um, okay. And you know we have a fully automated, state-of-the-art production facility right in Schenectady, and um, you know we're looking to grow and expand. So we're always you know looking at new equipment, new processing uh, plants and, and materials. We want to start a food service line. So there's lots of interesting things in the pipeline. We hope to stay in Schenectady for a long time. Oh, thank you so much. I love to hear that. Yeah. How about Master Annie Bakeries there, huh? How about Brothers it? Bakery. <laughs> <laughs> love their bread. But go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, Mastriani. Uh, and, has, and talk about two go-togethers, right? Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> uh, yeah, Mastriani's been around for 92 years. Um, I recently joined the company as a new CEO back in uh, late June. Um, and it's, you know, what can you say? It's an iconic brand. Um, but like a lot of um, small businesses, it, it, it needed a little bit of a, uh, a fresh coat of paint, so mm -hmm. to speak. So. Yeah, well, it, it, you know, times, well, we had our the president <clears throat> of the College of Pharmacy on talking about things change and you have to, kind of evolve. change with them, evolve with them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was kind of the biggest need. I mean, there was, you know, the product is amazing. Uh, the following is, is uh, uh, you know, it's pretty, uh, um, fr it, I would say that people are somewhat fanatical about the bread. I mean, we get emails every we day. We get fussy about bread, don't we? Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> and I people, am so fussy. <laughs> not a day goes by that I don't get an email, a Facebook message, or a phone call from somebody who, you know, tells a story about how they drive 20, 30, 40, 50 miles to buy our product. Uh, people that ship our products all around the country, it's, it's amazing. But we needed to modernize, so um, we rebranded re the entire company, have a whole new logo. Uh, we actually did an online survey. We put a bunch of logos out that were designed for us. Oh, that's we, a good idea. We let yeah. the community choose. Yeah, you know, we felt yeah. that our customers should have a say and, and uh, let them kind of fight it out online and Facebook, and, uh, and they did, so we have a new logo. And uh, we are rolling out eight new, new breads uh, which were how can you make eight new breads? Uh -huh. Come on, how many <laughs> breads can you be? <laughs> uh, I'm as excited as I can possibly be. Uh, you know, I'm a New York downstate guy. I was born in Queens and lived in Long Island, so I have an appreciation for a good deli rye. So we have a Brooklyn oh, good with uh, seeds. I gotta have seeds in them. Brooklyn deli rye. Oh, I love seeds it's in my rye. Uh, we're doing yeah. a San Francisco sourdough. Um, and we're making three smaller loaves. As you probably know, our bread is big. Yeah. For big families, but there's a lot of people that can't use it. Empty yeah. nesters. You can you can freeze it. Come on. You can, but let's face <laughs> yeah, it. No, I, I like a fresh loaf. Yeah, I know, I know. And, uh, and the big the, the the empty nesters are are can't use the big loaf, and 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 the smaller families, young families, can't use a big loaf. So we make something called an express loaf. Oh, that's a good idea. And I know you like the raisin yeah, bread. Yeah, and we yeah. make that in the express yeah. loaf. So uh, sub rolls and Kaiser rolls and a lot of new items. So um, where they should be rolling out in the next couple of weeks. 